great guy. Now, it's not the great guy, it's just great guy. And it's probably one of the worst movie titles ever, <laughs> but it's one of the most excellent films I've seen starring James Cagney. This one was a surprise for me. I was just kind of looking around on the Internet Archive, found this one. The title caught my attention, and I thought I'd check it out. And it's excellent. I mean, James Cagney, you usually associate in gangster, organized crime type movies. In this, he plays somebody completely different. He's a deputy with the Weights and Measures Department. And that was really fascinating. I'll get more into that in just a minute. But basically, let me go through the story. It opens up with the chief deputy of the Department of Weights and Measures, who is nearly killed in a car accident. It was actually one that was planned by some corrupt politicians. And we'll get more into them soon. And as he's recovering, he enlists ex-boxer Johnny Cave, who is played by James Cagney, to take over his role. And he goes into this new role with full force. Now, it's really interesting. You know, I've seen James Cagney as the gangster and the criminal, so it was really neat to see him as the hero. And James Cagney as an actor is amazing to watch because he puts so much energy and vibrancy into his characters. You know, you just watch him. You watch his eyes, his face, his expression. He's this intense character who's very sharp, very no-nonsense. And, you know, watching him in this film as he just kind of cracks down on these corrupt people doing these corrupt forms of weights and measures. And that was another thing really interesting about this film. Let me just kind of veer off on a tangent here. This being the 1930s, a lot of these crimes he's investigating are things that are just like so alien to us today. I mean, he at one point goes to a store, it's a grocer, where they are putting extra weights onto a scale so that people pay more to buy their chicken. You know, things like that. I don't even know, do they even put scales in grocery stores anymore? I mean, maybe they do. I'm so used to just buying a couple fruits or vegetables, putting them in a bag, and then you don't even think about it. Or you buy your chicken and it's already prepackaged. <laughs> but in this day and age, you had scales that could be corrupted because they were weighing products or... Uh, gas that was being siphoned a little bit off so that people were getting ripped off. It's a really interesting world back in the 1930s that there was a need for a deputy of this weights and measures department. So, you know, James Cagney's character is amazing. He plays this role with gusto. He jumps into it and he's not putting up with anything. Almost all of these people he cracks down on, they turn around and they try to bribe him and he's not having any of it. You know, so he's cracking down on this. And it was cool. His intensity is so neat. He is a very quick character. I mean, someone realizes he's getting cracked down on. He tries to run away. James Cagney stops him. You know, he's not putting up with any of this. It reminded me a lot of his role when he was playing in Angels with Dirty Faces. Now, that was a gangster film, but it's a very similar character in how quick-witted he is like when he's helping these street kids in particular they have this very famous scene in the film with the this basketball game and as these characters are doing all sorts of mischief and things like they trip one another well he turns around and trips them or they're hitting one another and he slaps faces and you know he turns around just with this very quick on his feet very clever actions and you see a lot of that same dynamic going on here as well. So he's cracking down on these corrupt merchants and their unfair scales. Now these crooks, you know, they try to get away with it and it's kind of understood that there is corruption in this market. We'll, we'll get into this soon. And there's also a, a sweet subplot too, I thought, with James Cagney's relationship with his fiance, Mae Clark. And she, you know, thinks he's a little too hard-headed. It doesn't go easy on this role. But, you know, we the viewers, we're watching him. He's cracking down on crime and, you know, we're like rooting for him. It's really neat to see him be the great hero of the people here. So uh, actor Robert Glecker plays a corrupt character, Marty Cavanaugh, who tries to offer him this gushy office job for more money. But it's one in which by taking, he has to turn more of a blind eye to the corruption going on. So when... Cagney refuses, this Kavanaugh has him framed to look like he was drunken and in an accident. But then Kavanaugh shows up at the police department 
and he lets him off of this crime. And it's really fascinating because this is kind of the big reveal to the viewer that not only is he a slime ball, but he's got this power and this control over James Cagney's character, or at least he thinks he does. So James Cagney, he finds out that this character, Abel Canning, played by Henry Colker, is this really corrupt character who's trying to swindle, of all places, a local orphanage. He's trying to rip them off and overcharging them for food. So James Cagney says that basically he's going to expose him for the crook that he is. But because this Canning character has connections with the mayor and with the Kavanaugh character, it's a big mess of corruption and he doesn't care. You know, James Cagney still goes to the press with the story. So things start to get a little more dangerous and this Kavanaugh hires this big wrestler thug, Joe Burton, to attack James Cagney and steal the evidence away from him. And, you know, there's a fight that takes place on a staircase. He's always getting beaten up and stuff, the poor guy. And I'll let you kind of watch the movie and see how things wrap up. Can James Cagney's character take a bite out of crime? Can he figure all this stuff out and end this corruption? Well, you got to watch it and see. And, you know, this was a public domain movie. I'll put the link below. But what I found is you can see this film almost anywhere. I don't think they renewed the copyright for this because I've seen it on YouTube and Internet Archive. And again, you got to watch this film for James Cagney. He is amazing. He's just this vibrant, fascinating character. And uh, just a side note, his partner in this film, James Burke, plays this Irish character, Patrick Haley, who's sort of the goofy comic relief, but he's not very funny. But, you know, you watch him. I could have sworn that this was the actor James Harden of X-Files fame. He played the uh, the Deep Throat character. He's also played a million other character roles in different shows. But, I mean, obviously it's not him. This was like <laughs> 60 years before the X-Files. So it was still, watch the actor, see, maybe it's just me. So, anyhow, the movie is called Great Guy. It's a goofy name to this movie, but James Cagney is amazing in it. And it's great to see him playing a dedicated, driven, good guy, or should I say, a great guy, for a change.